Hi, in this video, we're going to show you how to install Python environment on your Windows PC. And uh, for Mac or the other environment, it would separate videos. So there are two steps. First, we need to install Python, uh, Python packages are currently going to be 3.10. Uh, going forward, there's a newer version come out. You can always install the latest version. The second one is going to install PyCharm IDE one of the best uh, Python IDE uh, available. If you prefer to use VS Code, uh, we also uh, have a separate video for install VS Code with Python. All right, so let's dip into it. So to install Python, you, you just go to here and type in Python. So there's the Python download, you come to here. So the current latest version is 3.10.1. You just click that and choose Windows, right? You can just, so it's starting downloading. So after you're showing, you can do install. So I already have a previous version installed. Uh, you can here, you can do a repair, uninstall, whatever. But whatever, you can do a modify. You see what version you want to use, uh, etc. right? So you can, you just follow, select all default, select the path you want to install. It's going to install on your, on your PC like that, right? So see if I want to modify it, debugging symbol. Currently I'm installing as C work Python 3.10. You can choose your own directory to be installed. So I say it started installing. So for most of the thing, you just choose the default sessions. You don't need to change anything. Just provide a valid path to be installed into. So it's take a while to finish. So let's take a pause. It's a modify was, was successful. So if you want to verify, you can see, we go to the work directory. Uh, we can go to PC, go to work directory. You can see there's a folder here called Python 3.10. Underneath, there's the application called python.exe. So this is going to be used in your PyCharm, which, uh, which Python binary you want to use. Okay, so this is the first step. We install Python 3.10. The second step, we're going to install PyCharm IDE. PyCharm IDE, you just go to Google again, type in PyCharm. Right, so if you see PyCharm, there's a download PyCharm. Here, there's two versions. Choose the community version, it's free. So you do a download. So it take a while to download. Let's pause again here. Okay, it looks like it's downloaded. You can click it. Let's install it. You choose next. Um, you can leave that as default or you choose your own location. Then create the shortcuts, add bins, right? So you can choose anything you want here. It doesn't really change anything. So it's starting installing. It may take a while, let's pause again.
Okay, it's already set up. So we do a manual reboot later. So now this is the version was started. You click it. You can see do not in So here it started, right? So you can change the color. It's too dark. You want to see, you want to do a Windows 10. Right, so you go back. You can create a new project. So here, you see, it's automatically search for the, for the Python binaries. It's already set up correctly. You just see create. So we don't want to show any tip anymore. Right, so this is the main file, we can run it. You see, see PyCharm, because you give the name as PyCharm. We can change other things, right? You see, we can see, hello. You run it. Hi, hello, right? So that means our installation is correct with the correct Python and also PyCharm. All right, so again, we are specializing for the trainings for programming languages uh, or competition programming languages uh, we have uh, Python, Java, and C++ training courses. So this is our website. If you have uh, usefulcode.com, you have time, you can browse it, see if anything interested. Also, we have a parent website uh, called stemivy.com. They offer not only programming languages, also English and math. So another good thing is you can do a course search. Here, see, you can choose Python. Your grade is ninth grade. So it's showing all available courses so far right now. Okay, so we are here to helping you to master Python and programming languages. Uh, again, um, so uh, we're helping you to become a good uh, Python developer or programmer and happy coding.